gotta go, you know, you know I'm saying this. Yeah, we got it going, you know, you know I'm saying this. Jack be on the mic, you know, you know I'm saying this. Pass that mic, pass that mic, pass that mic. Pass that mic, you know, you know what I'm saying this. I'm on this big box over here, fucking it up. I read it, I read it, you know I got bars. Man, hey, thank you for holding on to him. Third Degree Radio, y'all. The place. I will say something, yeah. Trey. You might want to <laughs> stole on me. I'm hey, you've been saying a know, whole lot of shit this I, morning. I was say, you know about all those bars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, literally. No, literally. I do know about holding on to motherfuckers for years at a time. So you're right about that. Third oh, degree radio, no. y'all general in the building, big trainee. Oh That's God to you over yeah. there acting a the damn fool as usual. Y'all know it wouldn't be the gumbo wouldn't taste the same without him. Sure Got no. Coney actor XO, you know, she give us that laid back flavor. Why you know what I mean? You know how that you know how that Coney actor XO do you. Smooth. And hey. over there on his gangster tip this morning. God damn it. Ooh, ah, we got DJ Sale, the one and only. Y'all better recognize it. God 30 Degree Radio, man. We glad to be back for another week. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. You know, we really appreciate y'all. Patronage yep, 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 yep. and, you know, y'all listening in. We got a lot of uh, things to share with y'all since we was absent last week due to unforeseen circumstances. Technical difficulties. We yeah. had them this morning on uh, Tom Joe the Morning Show, man. I couldn't connect for the first, like, Oh, half wow. hour, man. Oh, wow. Not the third right? hour. Yeah, I was, you know, we we do it remotely from here, from uh, the Burbank studio, man. And gotcha. first 30 minutes, I thought, I think I know what happened. Okay. I think LA used all the power, you know, to put up some. Come that to the Lakers Kawhi billboards. No bullshit. Like I can't do nothing but laugh you. at that because that's no. no bullshit. They've been petitioning hey. like Kawhi like, not. Yeah, I Kawhi saw. Kawhi not. I saw. I saw. I saw. I saw. I saw. Kawhi not come to the Lakers. <laughs> Kawhi not. Kawhi not. Saw, Kawhi Where else you gonna go? Shit. I mean, might well come down here and get some of this glitz and glamour. Yeah, exactly. You ain't gonna get it at the Clippers. Yeah, but shit, I we mean, in my thinking, bench. my thinking of it. We still gonna need a nice We got bench. Kuzma coming off the bench now and some other players. We can, we can sign my some other players. My true estimation of it, though, is that, you know, you, you, you've become king of a country, man, in one fell swoop. You dig it? You know, uh, you, 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 put, you put the whole country on your back. You yeah. put the team on your back. You stayed down. No, no slights of disrespect to Lowry, right. Siakam, or right. Ibaka. Right. You know, nobody who played their role right. and stood down. But you did. He did what he was supposed to do. And now I believe he needs to sit, sit there and, and enjoy some of that, some of those accolades being heaped on him. Because it not only will it cement his position, but it will also make him more determined to repeat. So, so I think he should stay in Toronto. See, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a diehard, lifelong Lakers fan, but I think for Kawhi Leonard as a person, as a brand, I think he'd do better staying let me, in Toronto. Let me push back on that. I push back on that because he proved that he can win this with This ain't Super- no broke back mountain shit. No, man. wait, no. no we'll talk back. about that later okay. uh, uh, okay. on the show. Okay. Um, yeah. Wrangler jeans. Anyway, um, <laughs> we're going <laughs> to we put... I'm going to push back on that because for the simple fact that he proved in San Antonio he could play with superstars and win a championship and get MVP of the finals. Then he left and went to Toronto and he proved that he can do it with... Guys who are not superstars but are stars, and he can and carry the team on right. his back. And, they and if you right. look at it, he carried that team on his back, like you said, and he wasn't 100 percent in the in the playoffs, on the wasn't. finals. You can he see wasn't. his body. You so could. this is why I say he come to the Lakers because you got Anthony Davis there, and you got uh, LeBron James. So he won already in two different ways. Now, I I I I, I, I equate it to the Kings of Comedy. When the Kings of Comedy first started, right? Uh-huh. You had uh, Je- you had a uh, uh, um, Cedric Entertainer, Steve Harvey, uh, and uh, Bernie Mac. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was the first host, but I wasn't in that category. I was only five years in the game. These are three guys who sold out theaters. That was 5, before DL. By themselves. Hughley. Before DL, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Before DL, they, they sold out five thousand theaters by themselves. Right. So Walter Latham, who created it, came to them and said, "Look, because usually Bernie Mac go on do, do a tour, do an hour, hour and a half worth of material." I ain't going in that man pockets, but say he was making maybe $15,000 a show, had to do all the press because he's a headliner. 
Got it. Cedric the same way, and and and, and uh, Steve the same way. So what the Lakers came to me and said, look, instead of y'all working so hard, let me put y'all together. Let's get a super group. Instead of doing an hour for 15, 20 grand, how about do a half hour for 30 grand? And you can you don't have to take you don't have to take the whole show on your back. Now right. it's three of y'all. Y'all share the responsibility. It's less pressure on you. You're making more money doing less work and doing bigger things. Great. So, so instead of Kawhi, Ka- Kawhi, yeah. Kawhi is going to make the same money if he stay in t- Toronto and still have to carry the load, which is wear and tear on your body. And then now, That's a great for coming breakdown. to the Lakers, it's like, you know what? I ain't got to, all the all the reporters ain't at my locker. Some of them at LeBron locker. Some of them at AD locker. I ain't got to take on all the questions. I ain't got to do all the interviews. I ain't got to, I ain't got to check the best man. So I'm going to save my body, play longer, you know, and, and go to a super team. I've that, already proved that I can do it two other ways. Man, yeah, look. that's you, true. Wow. You, you are a true. That was a nice assessment, You are a you true guys. sports yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah, for real. That was a great assessment. Mm-hmm. And. I'm going to just keep it a thousand. I'm going to keep it a thousand. You just changed my whole perspective (laughs) on him coming to to the Lakers. Yeah. Because that makes all the sense in the world what you just said. You see how you see how you see how it tore Kobe body down carrying the team after after, uh, um, Shaq left and then and then and then after uh, Gasol left. He had he couldn't do it by himself. That's real. As great as he is. You see when Jordan left. You know, he left and went to other team. He wasn't the same joy. That's real. It's like, why not go to a team where the, the, you don't have to do everything? Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cool. And you oh, last longer. Anyway, wow. That's, that's, yeah. It's supposed to be a team effort. Yeah. That's true. It is. And, it's, and, and, it's, and don't yeah. get it twisted. But LeBron that's giving true. Anthony Davis number 23. You know, was a was a was was a great money move because it was. That because was the twenty three jersey was the number one selling jersey in the league last year. So now you give it up, you go get your number six that you wore in Miami. Nike has a contract for the NBA. Nike also has a deal with LeBron. So like, look, look, let's get this bread. Wow. They're gonna go buy the number six Laker jersey too. So now you got. 23 Anthony Davis jersey probably gonna sell in the top three. You got Kawhi if he comes gonna sell in the top three. And wow. then you got 20. You got number six LeBron gonna sell. So the top three. The Lakers front jerseys. office ain't that smart. You no, need to it, go no, apply. Nike. You Nike. Yeah. No, Nike. I ain't talking about. I'm talking about Nike. He did say okay. Nike. He did. He did say and okay. the Lakers benefit no, from that. No, I meant I they meant do. for them to pull all that together for that to take smart. place. I don't think they're gonna put. I, I don't think they're gonna put. Polinka may never be that smart, but I think Jeannie is because she's the she she's the brand she. But she listened to too many people. Yeah, she, she listens, listens to, too to too many, many people. people. She can listen everybody except the Ramesses. Get the Ramesses out of there. Yeah, I mean. But anyway, I'm sorry I mean to take over that conversation. No, that was good, man. Thanks. That was that good. Was great, that was yeah, really I'm enlightening. Like, that was really enlightening. It shows, man, you know, we support good. our Lakers here in all LA. Day long, all day long, strong. What? Come on. Come What's on, up? Riverside. Long, Come to the Lakers, Riverside. What's up with it, Coney? Yeah, we was... Oh, what you got going lot, on? Tonight? Yeah, shit. I'm, 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 I'm over here. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how the next season of the NBA gonna be the way y'all. I, know. Know. I thought it's you was day because it's so damn tricky. hot in here. That too. It's you know the AC. We having issues. Y'all know how we are in the heat. Y'all already know. I'm uh, sweating like R. Kelly nursery. It, this one that pays to be light skinned. That shit don't matter. <laughs> Look, you get hot the same way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Shout out to you. I saw you. Like the heat hit different. <laughs> Shout out to Big Trade E. It hits I saw you in the, uh, it hits different. I saw you in the, in the Bobby DeBarge story. You saw that story the other day. This nigga that story is crazy. crazy. Oh, wait a minute. Before we don't move don't on. Don't give up no spoilers. It's crazy. I want to see it. I know it was Before we move, Yeah, you did. You want to see that. Before we move on. Gotta give a shout out to my big sis, Darla D. Hey, happy hey. birthday Darla today, D. sis. Happy yeah, birthday, ha- sis. happy birthday, Another sis. Another trip around <laughs> the sun, mama. Yeah, oh, you know yeah. what I mean. See you tonight. We gonna do some fine dining and enjoy nice. ourselves. Get ready to uh, get your cannabis on too, cause uh, you know we don't stop. Got you cooked. So. <laughs> you know your Love sis. Love you, 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 sis. Happy <laughs> birthday. Go and do your thing, yeah. Oh, okay. We got the baby. Y'all know uh, the, the artist, the baby. That's what I call him. He probably like don't be calling me the baby like that. I'm, I'm, I'm they would call him big sis, the baby. So, right. Uh, That's <laughs> sentence. Right. 
And uh, he was sentenced in twenty in the twenty eighteen uh, Walmart shooting. The nigga shot Charlotte. somebody at Walmart. Okay, well listen to the story first. Okay. The baby was in a North Carolina courtroom on Thursday, June twenty seventh, where he was sentenced for his involvement in a fatal twenty eighteen shooting. Mm. But according to the Charlotte Observer, prosecutors have decided not to pursue any more charges against the against him against the rap story. So, uh, Mecklenburg, Mecca, Mecklenburg mm -hmm. District Attorney's oh, yeah. Office spokeswoman Megan McDonald said as a result of the judgment, he did receive one year of unsupervised probation. The baby oh, was cool. charged in connection with the fatal shooting of 19-year-old Jalen Dominic Craig, Craig. The incident occurred during a fight inside of Huntersville Walmart last November. Two days after the shooting, the baby hopped on social media and explained he was in the store shopping with his two toddlers, their mother, and when someone pulled a gun and tried to take my life. That's what he said. So he says he did what he had to do. He said, uh, quote, daughter could have got hit, son could have got hit, and me. The baby said in a video, lawyers telling me not to say nothing, but two people walk down on you and your whole family threatening y'all, whip out, whipping out a gun on y'all. Let me see what y'all going to do. Exactly. That's what he said. First of all, what he, oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh, he said, police identified all individuals involved in the shooting and four people were taken to the Huntersville uh, Police Department to be interviewed. The victim's cousin, uh, Quine. Mm -hmm. Horsley of uh, Charlotte said the family is satisfied with this week's verdict by uh, District uh, Court Judge Ty Hans, but they are still seeking justice. The family is retaining a new legal counsel to prompt further action in this case. This is interesting. First of all, mm. you know, Walmart. Uh, what, you gotta be like 60 to even get in Walmart. You so, dumb. what is it? What is this young ass dumb. doing in Walmart? <laughs> you <dumb. laughs> now, he's, one thing, Walmart. one thing has Look, to be a fact. Was in Walmart one, with his family. Target's right. a little younger, excuse a little that's younger. Cool, that's cool. That's cool. One Tar thing has to be a fact. He must not have had any felony charges on his record before, or felony convictions, rather. Ah, okay. For, because if he got one year of probation for for a murder, unsupervised, then, unsupervised. Too. Yeah, unsupervised. I'm, it had to be justified that whether he was able to carry or not, whether he self defense. A, he said, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Stand you, your ground. You there like, with your family? It's not. It's not assumed that you trying you, to. Yeah. You went to Walmart to go shoot somebody. Right. Yeah, with your not family. with your family. Right. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? So he would get the benefit of the doubt yeah. in that situation. However, yeah, you, yeah. was he an ex felon? In possession of a firearm or something like that, That's different. he would still have to go and face murder charges, wow. probably because wow. I don't know if they were charging with murder or manslaughter or whatever. But it, he would have to be charged because he's not allowed to possess a firearm. Once you're a felon, you're not allowed to possess a firearm. You didn't learn to something. Ever. You didn't learn to us something. Motherfucker had to learn. You go. Stupid. You go to prison six times for that shit. Oh. You figured out. <laughs> I ain't trying to go Damn. half to it. You, you figured out. Man. Yeah, nah, like well, you said, wild, he was with his West, family, his, his kids, his but son, that was and his, his, his yeah. mother. Yeah. That, with his family. Yeah. All day. Yeah. Period. Period. Even if he wasn't supposed, He's supposed to carry to that's living. still self-defense. There's right. a code, though. No, it is. But no, that not is if cold. he wasn't supposed to carry. No, no, Don't no, say no, that. I, that's the wrong information, oh, Sam. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you, you if know. you're not supposed to carry, you're then you do what carry. you got to do, do and hope them cameras didn't really catch you good enough because you better get your ass out of there right. if you ain't supposed to have nothing and you use it. Or grab, right, or right. grab, the, or, or grab the security guard gun. Oh, that's Walmart. Yeah. They ain't got no guns. Oh, that's Ooh, they got I know one guns. thing. They ain't following the got They got a they got a cutlery section. You can go throw some knives and shit. Oh, hell no. shit. Or, 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 or grab, oh. grab some bunch of knives. Grab one of them old people with the pins off and just throw the full now, of the pins. Now, let me tell you something. <laughs> Full Walmart, you on your own. I've never seen security at Walmart. Y'all seen security if at Walmart? If they do, they move it slow. Uh, they're on yeah, their own. They, they, I barely see they the one, they, they check your receipt at That's all. That ain't security. That's the a security worker. is the cashier. Ain't this a bitch? Look. Can I see your receipt? So look. <laughs> what you gonna do if I don't? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna stick you up. Exactly. Stick Walmart, you, you on your cut. own in Walmart. Some shit go bad. You, they be thumping in Walmart. That's, they get yeah. out all ages. Don't even sit up here and be fronting like it's the young. Kids, it be grown ass people in there. <laughs> the, you stupid. <laughs> it sounds like West DJ Side Selby going LA in thing. Walmart right. gang banging Looking on his old sugar days. mamas. Nah, he was old sugar mamas. I ain't stupid. showing you shit, nigga. What's happening? Oh my hey. god. Triple hey. OG. Oh, Red yeah. Dog, 
they be serving hands in Walmart. And that's that why. Too. And I'm that trying to think happened. of. I'm trying to think of like, how could you even encounter some crap like this in Walmart while you shopping? But the way Walmart set up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Is that a gun section, especially in, those, oh, and they in North it. Carolina? You they got a whole saying? gun section in yeah. Walmart. Yeah. yeah, anything can a happen in Walmart. Section. Yeah, they got they the sell, sell, sell Walmart, 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 Walmart section. Walmart, Walmart, Walmart sell section. everything but real estate and people. Right. That's they real sell shit. everything. Right. <laughs> well, they probably sell to the people, the employees. They right. like, hey, You're dumb, bro. Hey. You know, they don't so want to be there, so they're like, hey, what's a better opportunity? Y'all you taking me on? I'm out of here. The views of DJ Cell. Uh, not reflected by the views of anybody I from cannot. Dash Radio or Third Degree Radio. <laughs> it was his views and his views only. That's the Damn. disclaimer. We had to, we had to lay the disclaimer out there. Well, we've been keeping y'all up to date with this whole situation and the Takashi 6 9 affiliate yeah. role murder pleads guilty in federal racketeering case. Roll murder? His name is, yeah, Roll, Roll, uh, yeah, Roll murder. Yeah, okay. that's his name. Damn. Another uh, defendant in Takashi's racketeering case has reportedly pleaded guilty on Thursday, June 27th. A whole lot of shit happening on June 27th with y'all in court. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rolling Roll Murder Martin pleaded guilty to one count copying to participate in a racketeering conspiracy. Mm -hmm. According to the court documents obtained by Complex, Martin will not be prosecuted for his alleged role in the Manhattan robbery in April 2018. Despite the fact 6 9 his former manager... Uh, Kafano, Shadi, Jordan, and several other affiliates have already pleaded guilty. Martin is the tenth person to enter a good day. I thought it was only eight people on. No, no, I, I thought it was eight people on the case. Lord. That's gotta now be a black judge. His name is Ty Hands. They saw that they opportunity. Were, hey, this was let's the, go. Let's let me get tell it. you. Let me tell you. Upcoming artists. He must have told artists. on some other motherfuckers who wasn't even arrested at the time or some shit. Let me yeah. tell you. This was the dumbest move. Speak on it. That they could have done. These dudes could have been young. Hispanic and black multi-millionaires mm -hmm. yep. doing their thing. Mm -hmm. Everybody's eating good, good. Not, oh, you got millions and I'm over here with hundreds. But you they know start what I'm eating his he eating his food too. Yeah. No, but see, this is the thing. That was the whole shit. That was that dumb. started it to crumbling. It, exactly. Yeah, you know I mean, exactly. That yeah. was the nibble on the when, yeah. Or, you yeah, because they allegedly he, he had um, they had gave him his management or whoever. Um, Shoddy, whatever Shoddy, that, yeah. that that slid him like uh, three hundred racks, and they was like, you know, we fin we set some shows up, so be ready to take off with another three hundred racks at the end of this, and they had allegedly got two point two or some shit yeah. like that. Yeah, you know I mean, they stuffed one point six on him, right? And then was still finna working for the shows and all right. that. It was like. It was amazing, man. It, so that yeah. that disloyalty, that disloyalty and that treachery and thievery, it is greed. it has it has killed and the empires. It has yeah. killed empires and yeah. greed, yeah. And marriages it, yeah. and anything else. You and dumb stupidity. As hell. Yeah, yeah, stupidity doesn't look, it didn't kill lives. Killing this with country. this one, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's a lot of lives lost with this right here, you know. American um, greed. Yeah, y'all, this right here, this didn't make any sense. Um, it's the tenth person to enter a guilty um plea in the ongoing racketeering case. Anthony Harp Ellison accused of kidnapping and assaulting 6ix9ine last July mm. 2018. Remember that issue? Yeah. At his uh uh video shoot, after yeah. the video shoot. And uh uh, Al Jermiah Luke Mack, a new addition to the case, who was accused of dealing heroin, fentanyl, and MDMA, are the only two left. The Brooklyn bread rapper was arrested, of course, uh, uh, last November for his alleged ties to the Nine Trey Gangsta Bloods gang. He's been behind bars ever since awaiting his uh, September 4 trial. Federal yeah. Bureau of Prisons uh, record uh, show Martin is currently being held in Brooklyn Metropolitan Detention Center. He's expected to be sentenced on October 3rd. He could receive anywhere from 77 to 96 months in prison. Meanwhile, 6-9 nice. is scheduled to be sentenced on January 24th, 2020. There's a possibility he he could uh, it could happen sooner if the remaining defendants plead guilty before the case. And this in Brooklyn? This is in so Brooklyn. They won't be able to go see KD or Kyrie. You so stupid. I don't think you're going to be able to see I anybody. Mean, yeah. The way this next. is going. Well, yeah, no. I, you they know what's the, you know the irony, you know the irony of this whole shit is that 
His name is Takashi Six Nine, and Six Nine. That's you know, you please me and I please you. You know, or Basically. you know, yeah. you fucking me and I'm fucking you. So you right. know what I mean? It's like hey, circle jerk. went you hand know, in it, hand. It, 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 but see, this is the thing. This is the thing. And then Pete, you know, Cheek this is the thing. And you right. have, and you have like your generation too that you so stupid. You have your generation too that feel like you know well. The old heads say this, the old heads, all, right. the, all the G's was saying, be humble, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to tell you Calm something. Down. Young, yeah. young, young, no, uh, when the, you know, I ain't got to do this. And let me tell y'all, young artists. generation, yep. this is the example of not listening to a generation that's been there before exactly. and they saw yeah. a lot of their peers. Been there, done that. Exactly. Fall victim to the same situation. That's the only reason why you, they even it said ha- anything. It, it, you happens, know what I mean? it happens in comedy, too. You got some of these young generation don't want to listen to the old heads, and we like, hey, look, I'm a fan of comedy, so I want to see comedy go on even when I retire. That's real. So yeah. I, if I got some wisdom and knowledge and jewels to give to you, it'd be wrong for me to hold on to them because the generation it before would be me totally gave wrong. me the wisdom in the game. You know, to me, they helped me get to where I am, and they kept the door open for me. I want to keep the door open for your youngins. So uh, I respect the young ones who listen. You yeah, know what I'm me too. Me too. And the it ones who like they don't, get hella yeah. far. Yeah, and the ones who don't, the Bible says, don't give pearls to swine. Ooh, so, right. rolling there with that one, rolling with that. That's the... one of my favorite comics in the newspaper, Pearls Before Swine. No, that, yeah. The cartoon is Stephen yeah. Patisse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's oh, real. I do read newspapers and shit. Yeah. Too. Yeah, you but vocabulary you know, is vast, bro. I ain't uh, gonna lie. Uh, I appreciate that guy. Motherfucker, saying words like he Dennis Miller in this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 like he, I'm a like fan he's of Dennis. I, I'm a fan of Dennis. Because he's a wordsmith. Yeah, That's yeah. why he's a wordsmith. And Stephen Smith. A. Smith. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. No doubt. Big okay, ass well, I want to touch on this real quick, not to cut y'all off. Okay. We can't do that in front of everybody, man. Oh, you talking about some more shit? Oh, no. okay, my bad. No. <laughs> Wait, y'all got no. a couple of I got lost. Pick a room. Yeah, I got yeah, lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, huh? What, what, what's going on? Okay, look. You know Rhapsody. when you say touch on something at home, that means something different, but I forgot we was on the air right now. <laughs> you stupid. Uh, you know oh, you what? stupid. <laughs> Legendary ra- uh, female artist Rhapsody. Got a stutter. You see? <laughs> <laughs> you see? Y'all are retarded. <laughs> he done, dude. <laughs> Stresses the importance of balance in hip hop regarding women. So she says there's no movement without women in it in hip hop. She said, I remember a time where there were no females for a long time and then there was only one. So when I got to see the double XL freshman cover, and there were three, which uh, uh, was uh, Tierra Wack, Megan Thee Stallion, and Rico Nasty, who are all dope, all different, which is true. They're all different, which I like. They, cause they, those so they can names, all come out at the same names, time. Too. Yeah, I do. I, I like them because nobody has them. Nobody tried to use them. Yeah. They thought about that shit, yeah, and it yeah. fit their character, yeah. and they made their character, yeah. their names mesh. Artists. And yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. I feel that's what it's supposed to be. And, and that's True. what it's supposed True. to be. True. You want to be 25 years from now, oh, remember Tierra Whack? You know, or which one? Uh, Tierra Wack or Baby Ex- Tierra Wack exactly. or Tierra you know Mac I mean? or yeah. Come on, yeah, yeah. Oh, those are gonna come right after. Exactly. You so stupid. Uh, it's, it's over eight thousand littles. <laughs> Why not? And nine thousand so babies. And nine thousand babies. And, and right. what she says is, we meet. We need more of that. We need more, more balance. We need more variety of women in hip hop to show that we come in all different styles, Absolutely. shapes, colors. We all got different flavors, different rhyme styles, stories to tell. Yep. And you need that because that's how the world looks. The world doesn't look in one way. It's not sure one it color. Doesn't. It's not one agreed, universal agreed. image of a woman. It's mm-hmm. it's dope to have a wide range of women that reflects the world in where we live in. And that she's right. I agree. I, I love and it's so because I saw uh, Crooked Eye was interviewing her um, mm-hmm. on the red carpet. And I said, man, I love her vibe. Mm-hmm. Her vibe is always which poor. one? Rhapsody. Okay, Rhapsody. Rhapsody. You know, okay. she's 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 a G. If you yeah. don't know her, Google, did, look did, her up. I didn't up. know who she's, you were speaking of. Oh no, no, no. I'm I'm, I'm letting the people oh, okay. know that Rhapsody. that may not be familiar. She's yeah. a G. She's I mean, real hip hop. Like, you know what I mean? So you can check her out. But I agree with her. It but but even the baby made a comment and he said, I love the women going hard right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I love it. And they are in the we're all different. None of us are, are the same. We have different views about relationships, streets, 
daily life men because we deal with different men parenting yeah. some of us don't have kids some of us do some of us live a certain life and we don't have a kid so we might want to talk about that some of us don't you know what i mean so it's you have a kid right exactly so mm -hmm. you know all different walk of life some of us deal with uh men that end up incarcerated that's a whole different story from a beyonce type of chick that might want to rap some date chick, you know what i'm saying troll. some date chicks that play the wnba you, exactly there you go right there some chicks like sports they real sports heads they uh -huh. play basketball i mean damn you hoops. know is it, hey hoops there you go and she dope she and dope. i was looking at her yesterday you so stupid you start <laughs> looking at her every day Man, you he, that big hoops, as hell. he looking at you every day hoops you <laughs> stupid <laughs> hey hey hoops you know that's you know that's box that's between right me now, and you hoops you so stupid shout out to the la spots Okay, we well, yeah, we gonna come back because it's getting hot in here. And yeah. I don't mean Nelly done, I didn't mean Nelly, Nelly done showed up. So you know, we ain't no telling I'm, what's I'm gonna happen. I'm about to take my shirt off like I'm Melly Mel in this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we we'll be rock. back. We we'll be back with Third Degree Radio, y'all. Third Degree Radio, stay tuned. It's third degree radio in your ear hole. Blue states, red states, even some of them green states. <laughs>